Now the customizer is the section of your dashboard where you can edit and configure the theme settings and other parts of the theme's design, like the menu or the widget areas. The right side of the customer is the front end or visitor's end of your site. You'll notice that it doesn't look much like the demo. That's because the demo is just that, a demo version of the theme. The theme, or rather the demo, is intended to showcase most, if not all, of the different theme features, but it's customizable to your needs. Now, each theme will have slightly different options in the customizer, depending on the neat features of each theme, but most of them will have at least the site identity, menus, and homepage settings. Now, if you decide later that you want to change your theme, you can simply go back to the main dashboard again and click on the themes button again and then scroll through the different theme options. And let's say, for example, we would like the elegant business. At the bottom right of each theme, at the very bottom right of the box, you'll see a three-dot menu. If you click on that, you have all these options to select. Click on Activate on the theme that you want to use instead of the previous one. And now you're using the new theme. So if you click on the Customize Site button again, it'll take you back to the customizer, but this time with that new theme's customizing settings. So since each theme is slightly different, you'll see your site design change with every new theme, sometimes significantly so, depending on the theme you select. So it's, you'll be spending a bit of time in the customizer configuring the theme's unique settings every time you change a new theme. But don't worry, once you get the hang of it, you become very familiar with how the customizer works and you'll be able to switch themes in the future with very little effort. Now, if you want to just try out a theme without activating it, go back to the themes directory, click on the little three dot menu on any of the themes that you want to try out. Say so you want to try out 2019 and click on try and customize. That's going to take you to the themes customizer and then let you play around with different theme settings without actually committing to the change. So if you would like to change the color, maybe a custom color here, you can do that. Different content options. You can even change menus. You can create a new menu. And if you like your changes, Let's say you really like this green font. You can click on the blue Activate and Publish button, and that will automatically switch you to this new theme that you were just trying out. Or you can just click on the Back button to get out of that test drive mode entirely and keep your existing theme and its settings intact. Now, let's actually get into the nitty gritty of designing your site by setting up the theme's features. First, navigate to your site's customizer which you'll find under the design section where it says customize. So let's start with the menus. Depending on your theme, you might have the option of one menu at the top, or some themes may even have different menus in different locations. Now the elegant business theme has three locations, which you can check by clicking on menus and then going to where it says menu locations and clicking on view all locations. There's the primary menu, the footer menu, which is the menu here at the bottom and then the social links menu. The social menu is a special type of menu that showcases your social links. For now, let's start with the primary menu. Click on the back button here to get back to the original. Click on primary. Now, the elegant business menu's primary menu is at the top of the page. You can change it to whatever name you want, like main menu or top menu, but for now, I'm gonna keep the name primary menu since it's pretty self-explanatory already. The primary menu editor is this section on the left here. This is where you can add or delete menu items. Now, if you wanted to, for example, you, want, you created this menu, but you decide you didn't want it to be the primary menu. You instead want it to be the footer menu. Instead of having to recreate the whole thing, you can simply uncheck this box to remove all these menu items and then check where it says footer menu. And scroll down and you'll see the menu at the bottom. But for now, let's leave it back at the primary. 
Now, by default, the theme automatically added some of my pages for me in my navigation menu, but I want to add more. So if I had other pages that I wanted to make sure was added to my menu, I can click on where it says Add Items. And I have a selection here of all the existing pages on my website that I can add to. So I want to add the Contact Us page. When I clicked on that, it automatically added the Contact Us page in the main menu here on the left in the editor, but it also added it to my actual menu here. This particular menu is listed in the order that it's going to be showcased on the front of your site. So because home is at the top, by default, home is going to be on the left and it continues in that particular order across the top of the screen. Now, maybe I notice, you know what? I already have a contact page. I apparently inadvertently created two, or maybe there's another page that it already existed, you'd added before, and now you want to remove it. Just simply click on where it says contact here, this extra one, and then click remove at the bottom and automatically removes it from the editor and in the actual website menu itself. Now, that page still exists, that contact page or whatever page you remove from the menu here actually still exists. It's just removed from the menu. So you don't have to worry about accidentally deleting any content. It's just going to remove from the, it's just going to be removed from the navigation menu of your site. Now, let's say for example, I don't want the contact us page to be a top level menu item which is these right here, the primary menu items. Maybe I want it to actually be a dropdown under About. There are two ways that you can do that. You can hover your mouse over the Contact Us link here and actually drag it up. And you see where there's a little indentation under About right there. In that little dotted space, you can just drop the Contact Us menu item and it will automatically create a dropdown menu. That's one way of doing it. Another way to do it though, is you can click on where it says reorder and you can use the arrow buttons here to move your little menu items around across your menu editor. So if you wanted to make contact us to be a top level menu item instead of a dropdown, you can click on the little left arrow here to bring it back to the top level navigation section. You can also use these arrows to move these items up and down. So if you wanted services to be under the about page, you wanted meet the team to be under services, just use these arrows here to move your menu items around. Now the website preview pane on the right actually shows you the changes I'm making before I even save them, which is a handy way to see how it looks before I publish the changes. Nothing is saved until you actually click on this blue publish button here. Once I'm done making my changes, I'll click on the blue publish button on the top left. And now you've saved it. Now this is what your site currently looks like. And now let's say for example, I'm editing my menu, click on done here. I'm editing my menu and I realize, oh, I actually wanted to create one more page. And I also want it to show up on my menu. You don't have to go back to the main dashboard menu and click on site pages, you can, but a shortcut is to click on Add Items here, and then in this field where it says Add New Page, type in the title of the page that you want to add. So let's say, for example, you have a whole page on wedding rings. Type in the name of the page, click Add, and not only does it add it to your list of pages that you can select from, but it automatically adds it to the menu editor and by default in your actual navigation menu. And then of course, if I, again, if I wanted to delete that, if I change my mind, I click on it, shows the drop down, and I click the remove button and it removed it from my menu. I'm gonna save by public, clicking on the publish button on the top left. And now let's go back to the main dashboard. If I go back to pages, you can see the original contact page that I'd removed from my menu still there on the list because it wasn't deleted, as well as that new page that I created called Wedding Rings.